Hello, today we're going to be looking at the best settings for the NetDuma gaming router. So the first thing we need to do is go in to the router itself. Once you're logged in, work your way over to the GeoFilter. In the GeoFilter tab, we want to firstly make sure we have the correct version or firmware. So in order to, to check you have the right firmware, you need to just go over to the right hand side of your screen, your interface, and just check the version number. In this case, it's the R2 router and it's 3.0.394. Now you can go over to the forums at NetDuma Forum and go into the knowledge base and find out uh, what the latest version of your firmware is. So for example, if you have the R1 or the R2, it will show you that you have the correct version uh, and the latest firmware. You would simply go into the link, obviously follow the, the link, it will show you what has been included in the latest update and you would simply download the file from a Dropbox. Then you would work your way over to the three dots here in the Doom OS settings. You would open up the settings, you would go to update and you would select the file for the firmware upgrade. Your router would then simply update. Confirmed you have the correct firmware version. We can now look at the geo filter map. This is where generally a lot of the magic will happen um, in this router. So firstly, what we need to do is look at the actual options. Um, have it in kilometers or miles, whatever you want, that's your preference. Make sure you have the strict mode selected and the auto ping host selected. If you want a far search, you can also select the far search, but then the options of the strict search will not obviously take effect. Uh, just to kind of touch on what the strict mode and the auto ping host is, there's a, uh, a question mark here which will give you an explanation. So the strict mode will guarantee that dedicated servers outside of your filter range will always be blocked. This should always be selected when searching in the most games. Auto ping automatically loads a ping graph which shows the quality of your connection to the game's host or server. When unselected, you need to manually select the host's icon in the geo filter. So obviously you want that to all to be automatic. So then what we can do is this is the best kind of part. So we have a we have the plus and minus sign to zoom in and out of the world map. So me, I'm in the UK. And firstly, what we can do is on the polygon mode, um, on the polygon mode, this is where you're able just to go and select, say for example, you want to just select any servers in the UK. You can just select or draw how and where you want the NetDuma router to search. Um, you also have the ping assist, but me, I use this method. There's two methods here. So you can select your home manually. And as you can see, I've put a, I've put my, my home out in the middle of the ocean. I've se selected the distance to the minimum. And then I've put ping assist on to 15. So then what will happen on this particular example is that it will just search for games and it will search for the games based on the ping assist because I haven't set any destination, um, any country as my destination. So it will just essentially search for the ping assists. However, the recommended way of probably doing this is going to your home. So you can select home by address. Let me just select that now and we'll put Manchester. Now let's put London. London. Apply. And there you go. It will put your location as London. Then what you can do is you can move your search criteria for the Duma router 
by what you need. I recommend 500 if you're playing something like Call of Duty on your own. If you're playing with friends, maybe increase that to 1,000, maybe 1,500. Just to give you a better radius, it will give you more coverage over the EU, EU servers, that type of thing. But generally, these are kind of the best setups for the geo filter. So we're finished with GeoFilter, now we can move on to the Ping Heat Map. The Ping Heat Map is quite straightforward, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about this. You simply select the game that you're on, for example Call of Duty Vanguard, and that will show you the closest servers. So for example, I can see that the closest server here is around London and it's a 4 millisecond ping. So then what you can do is go back into the GeoFilter and then select once it loads up, select using that polygon um, a, close, a close area around that, that particular server. The congestion control. So let's have a look at the options. Um, you can firstly set your bandwidth speed by just selecting the button and you can change the speeds by selecting this if you wish. For mine it's 145 down and 35 up. You can allow the router to manually uh, check this for you, uh, automatically check this for you or you can manually enter it as you like. But this is just a quick, a quick video here. So let's look now at the congestion control itself. My recommendation, obviously with gaming, uh, you can put on the congestion control as always and this will um, prioritize your device and stop the lag occurring when you're gaming um, you can have it uh, as auto enable so when you're not gaming um, your router and your devices will receive the full bandwidth it's kind of down to your preference if you do stop gaming um, then sometimes you should then switch it from always to never and then that will just give you the full bandwidth of your of your of your internet back so in terms of the congestion control here at the moment we have it at a hundred percent and a hundred percent that's not the recommendation from NetDuma. Um, they recommend that 70 percent is the best target area to get the best performance from your router now this will vary depending on how you feel and how you and what games you're playing but what you should do is the auto setup so if you do the auto setup the router itself will calculate what is the best performance or the best setup for your con congestion control on that particular day that you run it and and obviously how it is performing so most people would would start with the begin auto setup but what I'm suggesting you do is something just a little bit different to get the best performance out of your router so I would always select advanced and this will bring up a congestion control auto setup so firstly it will give you the target ping versus idle you can go to whatever you wish five is the recommendation because under five is an unrealistic target uh, target ping you have a minimum download setting and a maximum uh, upload. Sorry, you have a minimum download setting and a minimum upload setting. Now, this is set at 50%, which would give you 50% of your bandwidth, which will mean you will always receive the 50% at a minimum. Now, what I tend to do, which I find which is best for me, I set mine at around 85. That's what I want. That's the amount of bandwidth that I want to get through uh, my router when I'm gaming. Okay, but the best thing here is the anti spikes. So if you put the anti spikes, this will eradicate and stop or prevent the anti spikes. And then you also have a slider here which is max spike size. So what happens when we do this? We can reduce that. What ping do we want when there's a spike on your internet or, 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 or the latency? So I always move this down to zero, um, and then you will select begin auto setup. This can take around five to 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna skip this part now while the system or the router does its calculations. So on this occasion, you can see the test has been completed. The best settings have been found and the system has recommended my download settings at 50% and my upload settings at 50%. 
once um, if you're happy with that one you can run it you can have a test it again if you feel that's a little bit low or you can just simply save the settings then you your system or your congestion control is set up to be at its optimized performance next bandwidth allocation to the um, to your applications so there's two types of uh, methods you can do it here so you can go onto the applications and you can do it by application type so <clears throat> um, for me if it was gaming I'd whack my gaming straight up to 81 because I'm greedy um, and then that's for the download and then also for the upload I'm going to put that at 81 you would then simply do update distribution and update distribution that's one way we can do it the second way is by device now this would have a number of different devices as you can see now because I'm playing games on my Xbox Series X I would simply just do exactly the same as I would do for gaming but I would push that um, into my Series X up to 81 um, and to be honest that might seem a lot um, but the other devices perform just perfectly as well on, on, with, with, with it being on one and that's for the download and again I would do exactly the same with the upload it would be dependent on yourself on, on how you would want to to do it and how much bandwidth you want to allocate to each device um, generally I would spend a lot of time on this and get for example my MacBook might have 5 my Xbox Series X might have 50 but if you just want a very very if you're gaming and no one's in you can just you can just put it how you want so again it's up to your personal preference 